Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. We are now talking to the mermaid. You are the ones who we've been waiting for. Please save the mermaids. Well, sure. And I wasn't sure what she was doing here, but later on when you uh, talk to the mermaids, I think she turned into sea foam just there. Do you want to get in the barrel? Of course. Into the barrel we go. Alright. Also in bubbles. Nothing like a Friday sitting back eating a taco. Working on a let's play and drinking tea. Alright. Floor 3 of the shunk shrunken. Yes. Sunken shrine. So. Water Naga and Water Elemental. What a way to start it off. And they are now dead. With my awesome new abilities of killing. And I pressed map for some odd reason. What did I think? I could cheat using a map? No. And more sharks. We'll probably see a whole bunch more of these, because we won't be seeing them on our ship for the rest of the game. So this will be it, you know? This is the last place you'll see a shark. So enjoy it. And I leveled up, and Amanda leveled up, and El Jefe leveled up. That's always good. And another water naga. Alright, so this is a 34 minute video. But we finished the whole sunken palace. And defeat the fiend of water. Which is always good. And uh, right after this we will be going to the flying fortress. Which is where Tiamat is. Which is the fiend of wind. And after that, we will be going to the past and killing a very familiar person. Someone who you would never have thought to have been there. Alright. Water Naga. But yeah, so this is really just about almost over. We find something important on uh, the fifth floor, if I'm correct. The fifth floor, there's no random battles, which is cool. But yeah, I'm going to the fifth floor right now, actually. Sadly, you can't use like a cottage or a tent or anything like that. I was hoping, though. Yeah. They had something like that in Final Fantasy 4 where you could sit in a tent. Like, there's a certain room in every dungeon or so that has a safe point where you can save, heal up, etc. I had to kill this huge octopus guy. I want to play 7 because that one sounds like it's awesome. Although my friend says, like, it was 8 or 9 that was the best. I, I think 7's the best because, you know, half of America agrees. Seven's the and my emulator screwed up there. But, uh, yeah. I hear 7's the best. You might want to leave a comment saying anything, you know? If you've played it. You might be like me and I've only played, like, 1, 2, and 3. Well, no, you, you're playing one right now. Oh, who knows? I don't think any of the Final Fantasies roll into each other. They're all just random hero, throw them into a dungeon, and let them restore the Crystal Stewards. That's what happened in 1, 2, and 3. Well, actually, I don't know about 2. I can't remember any Crystals in 2. Oddly enough. Weird. Anyway. 
Number two, you have to destroy this huge airship called the Dreadnought, if I'm correct. Sea Troll! And that's the way to level five, but... I needed to get gold, apparently. And Sea Snakes! Do not poison me, you stupid serpents! Where's the power of tacos compel you? Thundaga. Alright, so here is the Sunken Shrine, level 5. This is a good save point, heal up your party, etc. And there's a whole bunch of treasure rating here. Oh, my prayers have been answered. You want a human under the sea? What are you going to do with him? Um, if the light of the sea is lost, we will turn into sea foam, vanishing forever. That's what I think happened to the, the mermaid up there. She just vanished. More gold. And more gold. That was actually a diamond ar armlet. Yeah, I'm gonna treasure raid before equipping all my stuff because I already know there's a lot here. One of our friends went up. I wonder how she's doing now. I hope she's alright. I think she's dead. Sorry to tell you that, but she is. You can breathe underwater? How? How? Alright, so I hope that I can get a couple of Let's Plays in today because, um,. Tomorrow I'm going to be kind of busy till noon, which sucks, but I got some band stuff I have to do. Alright, are those the crystals the legends speak of? Just who are you? I am Deho. Thank you. Now you know. Lots ago. If the light of the sea is not restored, we'll... Yeah, we heard the other... Tangiel! What's up with that? I, that could have been 50,000, that could have been 5,000, I didn't read it. While the fiend of water lives, the light of the ocean is gone. I don't know. This is the uppermost level. The kraken, the fiend of water, nests on its lower level. So we must go to level 1, I think. The mirage tower stands in the desert on the continent to the east, right? Well, I saw someone go into the tower. I remember hearing the most lovely chiming noise. Yeah, that's where the fourth shrine is. That huge tower there. That's called Mirage Tower. Anyway, if I'm correct, there's a certain room that you cannot get to unless you go all the way around. So, I will find the way. There, That room was in the top right corner. I have to find the way all the way around make sure I didn't miss anything. And here we go. Go all the way to the left, and you'll end up on the right side of the room. And diamond gloves. And none other than the Rosetta Stone. Yes, we find that here. Like, deep in the ocean. And diamond helm. Mm. Love me some Tabasco sauce. Anyway... Alright, last minute treasure rating. Before I continue on down to level 1. But the way there is so complicated. Oh, wait, I forgot something in this room down here. What is it that you hold? Oh, diamond shield. Well, that's good. Optimal. Optimal, remove staff. I should just sell that staff, but I won't. Uh, optimal. There we go. And now to find the way out, because half of this place is cracked. And can't go this way. Can't go this way. Can't go this way. Can't go this way. Come on. Find a... Can't go that way. Ah, here we go. Just keep going down. 
And right. And here we go. Save up. I'm surprised my whole party hasn't wiped yet through this Let's Play. That's good. Alright. So now we must go on. And here's more Sahagan, but now we have Sahagan Prince and Sahagan Chief. So yeah. No more Sahagan, just Sahagan Prince and Sahagan Chief. Alright, why well, action? And a lone shark. It swims a lonely road. This way. And ghosts. That looked exactly like graves. And that other one. Green, blue. Now apparently a reddish orange cloak. All in the Wraith family. Alright, and someone leveled up. And a white shark deep eyes. Deep Eyes, that looked exactly like a uh, Doga from Final Fantasy 3. Old man turns into something like that. Ew. Another lone shark. Swimming alone. <sighs> oh well. And more sea snakes. Why must it always be snakes? Why couldn't it be like a spider? Well, snake might die. And Sahagan Prince and Sahagan Sheeps again. I should really start editing out all these random battles. I might fast forward them later. Just to save time. I don't know. It's just a thought. Darth Vader could kill you with a thought. He could kill everyone with a thought. That or a tray. That was funny if you've ever listened to Eddie Azar. He's awesome. Alright, Danny leveled up. We're like level 36 now, aren't we? I think so. Yeah, yes we are. Well, right on. Heal up real quick. Uh, heal a guy, sure, why not? I have uh, a bunch of others. Alright. Continuing. I hope we don't run into any more random battles. I'm just not going to say that anymore. I say that now, but I'll say it later. I already know I will. I'm done like that. Alright, level 2. But this dungeon's weird. You have to go to level 2, then level 3, 2, and then 1. And then from one, you have to go around all these fancy doors. 
Sea Scorpion must die. Ah, ah, ah. Alright. And ghosts. Say hello to your brothers for me in death. We've killed the undying. You cannot deny us. Alright. Paralyzed D helm, why don't you? I really hate the undead. They're a pain in the butt. Always trying to kill my party. What's up with them? I'm glad there's not a lot of undead battles later on. And D home leveled up. And here we are back at level four. With more ghosts. Oh, I'm almost out of tea. So. Oh well. I'll take my anger out on these ghosts. Die, you undead cur. With fire. Ah, ah, ah. And now they're gone. Alright. And 110 gold, apparently. That's sad. 450 gold. That's sad. And another random battle. But hey, no ghosts. Or undead. So that, that makes it all better. We're about halfway done. Uh, a random battle of Sahagan. The Sahagan must die. Thundaga. Come on, cast Vandaga. There we go. Now I'm going down. And more water elementals. my door open. Odd. Iron Sea Scorpions. Why not? Let's kill them. We could have the weapons. Death. Wipe them from the earth. Good job.
Alright, and last random atoms for now, if I'm correct. And there's Cockatrice and a Pyrolist. That's bad. Well, right on, go El Jefe. Wipe them all out! <laughs> Giant's Club, sweet. And more ghosts. Not too hard. Haven't been paralyzed yet. Alright. And just another random amount of gil. Heal up real quick. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright. That looks about good. Continuing. I believe it is this one. And another lone shark. Goodbye. I forgot these chests up here. Why did I press flee? You can't flee, you coward. This video is almost done, actually. And another random battle. Well, actually, I think that plate, uh, tile's rigged. Well, the prince is dead. Mighty knife, but to Persia. Well, no, we're nowhere near Persia. And D home and Amanda and El Jefe leveled up. And we got a ribbon. Ribbons are cool. They prevent uh, any status element to happen. So that means no poison. I swear. <sighs> Sadly, there's not four of them in this game. There's like six of them in number three. Which is good because last boss, every hit it takes basically poisons you or casts lightning. Alright. Just a bunch of more Sahagan. Who will die? Because all must return to death in the end. Thundogger. Goodbye. Ah, ah. And that tile is rigged. Uh, white sharks. Alright, let's just grab... Ah, I missed. And that's a bunch of people. Don't poison me. You better not poison me. Don't you dare. If you do, I think. Gosh. Alright. Thundaga. <sighs> oh, sweet. Alright. Well, that's good. Danny leveled up. Alright. Ah! Fail! I missed it twice now. And I got poisoned. Oh crap, man, he's almost dead. I should heal that guy. Um. Ouch. Don't you poison helm to. Ah, crap. You couldn't have been a little sooner, I'll have to. Why? Well, Danny missed out on some XP there, but we got the light axe. 
I only got plenty of Phoenix Downs. So. Oh crap, never mind, I only got 20. But we got enough high potions to heal him. Alright, I think that should be about it for treasure rating. I might be wrong. I might have a couple more places to go. That's the last one that's rigged, I believe. <sighs> that just annoys me, though. I missed out twice. Alright. And um, some skip sea square sea scorpions. And he's poison. Why do you poison us? It's not like he's taking a bunch of damage. Still, I'd rather be poisoned than paralyzed. Poison. Alright. This is the last four. We will be heading straight to him now. And I already missed. Let's use this one. Crap, I forgot, I am out of tea. Alright. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward with this. And there we go. They leveled up. Yeah, I'll start going ahead and fast forwarding some of these fights. Not the important ones, but stuff like this. The repetitive crap. And they got poison crap. I'll heal them up in a moment. And there's the last one. Amanda leveled up, and I'll have they leveled up. And I cure them with their poison. And a heal again. Well, nah, I'll just use high potions. This is just about done. I believe we're right outside the last boss's room, the Kraken. Fiend of water. No more random battles, no more. Come on. Eh. Fast forward. Uh, someone's Danny, why'd you get poisoned again? Alright. And I'll deal with him once I get to the last boss. Screw it, we're right outside the door. See scorpions? See, this goes by a whole lot faster if I'm fast forward. Really. And here we are. So I will heal up real quick. And then save. And also, I'll use a bunch of those, uh, others to fix up my wizards, because that one battle with, uh, what was her name, Merilith, the Fiend of Fire, was crap. I couldn't do anything. Not doing that again. That was stupid. But hey, I lived. I don't even think anyone died in that battle, which is cool. Sadly, this game isn't like uh, Final Fantasy III. 
after every battle of Final Fantasy 3, or boss battle, it healed up your whole party. Dead or not, you know? Hmm, few wounds do impress. I would not have thought to see you here. Yep, it's the Kraken. Big octopus guy. I think. But do you really think you can defeat the Fiend of Water here in my own domain? Yes, yes I do. Fools, these dark deaths shall be your tomb. No they won't. There is going to be a video after this. I'm pretty sure we kill you. Alright, well, why did I press protect? We got Protectora for a reason. That and Invisera. See? Whole party. Whole lot quicker than doing that protect crap. And I'm not sure. He's a water person, so I don't know if Thumbnaga will do more because he's electric. Or if Lazog yeah, will. Oh, let's try both. Thumbnaga, that does about 412 damage. Protect her up. See? Whole lot better. Now he won't be doing as much damage. And now Invisera. A whole lot quicker. That makes me happy. And Blizzard, here we go. Well, he still did a bunch of damage right there, but... Oh well. And how much damage does this do? 312. The other one was 412. That's a fail. And everyone's buffed out now. I'll quickly heal them up. Hilaga. And I'll go ahead and try another Blizz just to see if it does a bunch of damage. Maybe it was just an off time right there. No, still 316. Wow. Oh well. Let know how it is. And he is dead. See? Pretty simple. Well, stick around for the cutscene afterwards if you wish. But this is the end of the video. We have restored the crystal to grace. Now we have one left. Which I may or may not restore in the next video. I might just fix up the last minute touches in the next bit. Instead of starting the Flying Fortress and Mirage Tower. Anyway, so that's about it. I will see you next time and let's play Final Fantasy. Goodbye.